looking at a complete system. We have a two and a half ton unit in the house now. There's measurements. There's access from outside, from the back, down here in the basement. Um, breaker box to the right. It's a GE box. 100 amp service with a double pole 30 on the AC. Unit itself over here. Got a four inch flue with a three inch flue on the water heater. So you got a three, four, five on the clean out and the uh, flue liner looks newer. So we don't need a flue liner. I think what I'd like to do though, cause this is kind of janky on this flue or excuse me, supply trunk here is if we can disassemble and turn this thing sideways and face it this direction. That way the supply is coming up, move it over and put the supply right up underneath the supply trunk. It's eight by 12, goes out both sides of the unit. So you just turn it sideways and slide it back some because then the return is gonna come up on the side and it'll bridge these two cavities and pull from both cavities on the return, which just means moving this gas line or maybe the gas line can come in down on this side. You may have to shorten it and come back this way. If you slide it back, face it this way, it should open up space here to where you can slide it right back and hook it into the flue liner back there. Floor drain. It's about 15 feet away on the floor, you can see there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is we've got a drain right here for the washer. Is if we can put a condensate pump on the side and pump it up down and then drop it down into the washer drain and get rid of this thing off the floor right here. The line set comes up, wraps around, and goes out the side over there where the unit is outside. Right behind the pipes back there. We'll talk to her about her supply. She's got this now, pushing a lot of air out. I think she might need another supply upstairs. This is a two and a half ton unit. She only has five, six inch supplies upstairs. So I'll make a video about that if that comes to pass.